So today we got some news about the newest Team Go Rocket event. And I'm sure you can kind of see where it's going. So this starts August 8th and will bring the debut of Shadow Cresselia. And Shadow Lugia will be coming to raids uh, with its shiny. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, this is also going to be an event where you can, I'm pretty sure, you'll be able, yep, you can use uh, TMs to get rid of uh, frustration. So that's pretty nice. And the debut of three new Shadow Pokemon. Timber, Tortuga, and Archon, which will be pretty cool, I will say. Um, I have a feeling they'll be pretty good, especially like Shadow Conkeldur, probably going to be a top fighting type. So be on the lookout for that. Um, there will be Shadow Raids with Shadow Mareep, Shadow Wooper, uh, Kranidos, and Shieldon. And then the three stars will be Nuzleaf, Maynectric, and Vibrava. I don't believe any of these, you know, nah, none of these are shiny eligible. Um, now I'm kind of curious because, I mean, it doesn't say anything. Oh, here we go. Hold on. So it says that the leaders are going to be using different Pokemon, but it doesn't say which ones. Um, but it does look like the three new ones won't be shiny eligible right away. So... I guess we're just going to have to look out for it to see, you know, what the new leader Pokemon are going to be. If it's going to be new shinies, if it's just going to be like a re-roll of ones that already have their shinies out. Kind of hoping for new ones because I'd like to add to my Shadow Shiny collection, even though it's not like it's not very big yet. I think I got like four, but it's still pretty good. Um, there's going to be showcases for event themed Pokemon, which I'm kind of curious what those are going to be. Um, probably like the new Shadow Pokemon, which would be pretty cool. Um, so, let's see. Field Research Task Rewards. Got Mysterious Components, Charge TMs, Fast TMs, which I don't fucking need any more of. I swear, anytime my storage is almost full, or gets full, it's most generally that. So I don't want those, but it is what it is. Um, I already one of the showcases. There will be a rocket bundle in the shop. In the in the web store, actually. My bad. With seven rocket radars, seven premier battle passes, seven ultra balls, and seven pineapple berries for ten bucks. So do with that as you may. If you feel as though it's a that will be worth it to you, go for it. I mean it's not a bad box, I wouldn't say. Especially not for the radars and the premiums. The premium battle passes. Um, there's me a, a Team Go Rocket box available during the event. For 315 Poke Coins, you'll get an incubator, a rocket radar, and a premium battle pass. Um, and that looks to be it for the news. Um, but yeah, Shadow Lugia coming as a shiny, or getting a shiny finally. That's going to be pretty cool. That will be. Um, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend, August 10th and 11th. And then, obviously, Shadow uh, Cresselia. So, you'll be able to get your Shadow Cresselia from Giovanni, it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to get a second one through research. I'm not... I don't think so. I don't believe you've ever really been able to do that. Uh, but that's pretty cool, though kind of surprised they're not doing like shadow kyogre and groudon though they just kind of oh wait no those are already out i'm stupid i'm at shadow rayquaza but they'll probably do like an elite raid or some bullshit for that that wouldn't be anything new honestly um but yeah let me know what you guys think of this event i think it's pretty cool honestly i most generally do enjoy these team rocket events um i think there was another event announced recently i'm gonna see if there was anything like added so, hold on, there's a six, this uh, Adventure Week. So that will be somewhat overlapping it with, like, a bunch of rock types, like the fossils and shit. Yeah, so you got, like, Omanite and Kabuto. Uh, Aerodactyl. Bunch of them from Eggs, which seem to be the increased shiny odd ones. Are the ones from Eggs. 
um, field researches with a bunch of Pokemon, actually. Oh, okay, so it seems as though it's not just from eggs that you could get these shiny boosted ones. You can also get them from um, research, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a $2 paid research for two incubators, a super incubator, and an event-themed Pokemon. Uh, collection challenges, which are always cool. I mean, I'm, I've been, you know, grinding those out every time they come out. Showcases, more than likely just like the rock types. Same with the uh, collection challenges and this paid research. Uh, another web store deal. And yeah, it seems to be about it, but two cool researches coming out. You'll have to see it, honestly. So, oh, hold on. Let me go over the event bonuses, because this looks pretty good. Two times XP for spinning Pokestops. Five times XP for spinning a Pokestop for the first time. Which I don't know if that's, like, each day. Like, your first Pokestop spin of the day, or just, like, when you've never spun before. And then, you know, the increased shiny chance for Cranidos, Shield on, Tortuga, Archon, Tyrant, and Nomura. But yeah, the next week... Oh wait, okay, so this one starts this week, actually. It starts Friday. But like the next... You know, like next week's gonna be pretty exciting, I'd say. Uh, so enjoy it, honestly. And uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on these two events. And have...